Hi, this is Gary with Mac Modes Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at the color picker. So the color picker is this specialized control panel that allows you to simply choose a color. Now you see the color picker in many different applications. That's because it's part of the Mac OS X developer kit. So basically developers who want to allow you to select a color for some reason can simply say bring up the color picker and get the result of that. So different applications are going to show the same color picker even if they're made by different developers and have different functions. So for instance here's a text edit and I've selected some text here and of course I can just set the color very easily by using the toolbar here. But I can also use the color picker. I can go to Format, Font, and then Show Colors. Now this is where it appears in text edit. It doesn't mean it appears this way in other applications. You might find it in other menus and settings and buttons. But they all bring up this window here which is the color picker. So now that I have the color picker up I can simply select a color. I am faced here with a color wheel and I say if I wanted to select red as the color of that text I can simply click in there where the red area is and color the text red. I can click on blue. I can click on kind of a light blue there and a light purple. Anywhere I want in here. As a matter of fact I can even click and drag around to change the color. And I can also work on kind of the intensity of it over here by dragging the slider and creating making the entire circle darker or lighter. So this is the lightest colors and this takes everything to black. So I have complete control over the color using this wheel and the slider. Another cool thing I can do is I can click on this magnifying glass here and then pick a color I see elsewhere on the screen. So for instance if I wanted to use the same gray here in the toolbar I can simply click there, bring up the magnifying glass, click again and it changes that color. It's much more useful when you're actually editing images and you want to pick up a color from another part of the image. Now the color wheel isn't your only option in the color picker. You have several different ways to choose a color. So you look at the second one and you get a, a different set of sliders depending upon your settings here. You have the grayscale slider to choose a level of gray. You've got RGB sliders and you can choose the levels based on red, green, and blue and you can even enter in numbers here from 0 to 255 uh, to create an exact uh, color. CMYK is something used in the print world. Uh, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black rather than red, green, and blue. And you can also do hue, saturation, and brightness setting the hue first, the saturation, and then the brightness and to pick a color that way. Now you can also make this lock to a certain palette if you want. This is a little more geeky here but uh, say if I set something up here I can say well I want to make sure it's part of the NTSC palette from 1953 and it will lock it to those positions. So you have that option. You can also click here and then choose from colors by name and you have different palettes here. Uh, for instance crowns or the apple palette and then you can search by name here. Um, in addition to that you can create a new color and name it whatever you want and then go ahead and alter that color. So this is that green that I had selected. I go back to the color wheel here, create an orange, burnt orange there and then go back here and add that one as well. So you can kind of add your favorites to an unnamed palette there. And then um, you can also pick web colors here by their hexadecimal value. So you have a lot of different ways to pick here. You can also go to this image here to be able to pick from this spectrum and you can actually paste in your own image to use to select colors. And finally you've got the crayons uh, where you can select from these different crayons and they have the, the color of traditional crayons here uh, and that's also very useful. Now another thing you can do is you can save your favorite colors. So for instance say this red here is a red I want to use in this document and other documents and images. It's part of my project. It's maybe the primary color. I want to not have to select this exact location every time I want to pick that color. So I can save it to a slot here below by simply dragging from the top and it gives me this little chip of color and I can drag and put into a slot here. Now I can change the color to something else but click in that slot and it will switch it back. So I can actually select some other text and click that slot and it will change it to that. And these favorites are saved across applications. So for instance if I were to go into Pages I can bring up the color picker in Pages as I have here. It's actually under View, Show and Hide Colors right there. And you can see there is the favorite right there. I can click on it 
and select that color. So I can change this text here to that red. Likewise, I can even go into a third party application like Pixelmator here. And I can click on color to bring up the color picker there. You can see it. And select that chip right there to set the color to that. So there's a look at using the color picker. Hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.